Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Mr. Sumasabi, and in this video, we'll be looking at limits. All right, so limits are very interesting. Trust me, you will love them. Okay, uh, before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe. So basically, when it comes to limits, all you have to understand is the definition. What are limits? Okay, so I have a basic definition for you. So limits are just simply predictions of what Y value it looks like we should have at a particular point when the set of inputs, which are the X values, are approaching something, which is a, a random value. So try to look at what Y value will get when X is approaching something. Okay, so as X is getting closer and closer to something, which is that value, then what is Y getting close to? So that is basically the concept about limits. So the standard form in which you'd find limits uh, to be found is in this form. We say lim as uh, X approaches C of a function F of what? X is equal to what? Uh, basically, this is a standard form. So now, as X is approaching C, what is Y approaching? That's our concept. Remember that. Limits or a limit is a prediction of what Y value it looks like we should have at a point when X is getting closer and closer to C. All right. With this said, we can first start by looking at some uh, basic properties of limits. All right, so now what are these properties of limits? Okay, so we have um, a few properties. So I'll start with the constant multiple rule. So the constant multiple rule. Okay, so for this one, this is how it works. So given that you have a limit, say lim as a x approaches c of the constant k, the function f of x, this can also be written as k put out, then you determine the limit of that particular function f of x. So this is basically the constant multiple rule. You can always put out the constant you have and take the limit of the function. All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so the second one will be the sum rule. So the sum rule works in this manner. Say you've been given uh, a limit, say lim, x approaching c, of say you have f of x uh, plus g of x. So you can check the limits of these uh, functions individually. You can say lim as uh, x approaches c, the function f of x, plus lim as x approaches c, for the function what? g of x. Simple as that. This is basically the sum rule for limits. I'm going to the third one, c. This one is known as a difference rule. I guess some of you already know how this works. So the difference rule works in this manner. Say you have a, a limit, say lim as x approaches c of um, f of x minus g of x. So you can take the limits of these functions individually and just subtract. So you say lim of x approaches c of f of x minus lim of x approaches c of what? G of x. And that will be your limit. Let's look at uh, the next one. Okay, so the fourth one will be uh, the product rule. The product rule. Okay, suppose you have a uh, limit as x approaches c of f of x times g of x. So for this one, all you have to do is take the limit of x approaching c of f of x, then multiply it with the limit as x approaches c of g of x. These rules and these properties to be precise are very, very important. Trust me, questions are brought uh, in a manner where you just have to apply the principles and uh, these properties. So let's not forget them. Let's look at the last uh, property. All right, so this one is known as a quotient rule. So for the quotient rule, uh, the property works in this manner. Say so you have a limit as x approaches c, right, c, of uh, 
f of x divided by what? g of x. This is just, uh, you can take the limit as x approaches c of f of x and divide it, the limit that you find when x approaches c of g of x. And uh, this is how it works for the quotient two. All right, so I hope you understand these rules. So in this video, we'll just look at the definition and the properties attached to limits. All right, thanks for watching. My name is Mr. Hussain Wasabi. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Remember to strategize before you become a statistic. And that's why I'm pushing A+.